So what's going on guys, Mr. J Jr. here and welcome back to Visage. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work, but we're going to drop this one. Uh, we're going to drop that one as well. Now what I want to do is take my lighter up, walk down this hall, down to the living room, actually, down this mirror. I forgot about one mirror and it's, I have to go down the basement. And after that, I have to, um, doesn't work, okay. I have to find the stairs that leads up. And this is where the faces comes into place. So if I pick this up, I can put it on that wall right there. That's no face. And in the middle, we're a half face. Half a face. Well, there was some pictures out here. I'm running as fast as the character lets me to run. But it's not that easy. This was a half face, right? Yep, yeah, that's a half face. Or works for me, though. Anyhow. Gonna find that particular face. Now we have every face that we need. That's great. in a bag so this isn't the place where I'm supposed to be yet then I wonder if we're supposed to go down to the uh, basement floor and go into the mirror where we saw Dolores sit by a dining table because that can probably be the way to go actually take that lighter nope she's outside and that's not good because when we get to that part, we have to. You're um, gonna start to. Okay, because we will get to that part, we're gonna get an objective, obviously. And after that, we're gonna get a crowbar, I think. But for that, we need to break the mirror up the stairs that I forgot to break last episode. Let me get to that mirror first. And then back down. Here we have that one. That's good. Great. Now we have that. Now it's saved. So we're pretty safe. For now. That's good. She sits. Lowers herself. What took you so long, George? You know when tea time is. I'm sorry. And you always find a way to be late. I'm sorry. Yeah. Scribbling nonsense and talking to your recorder. I'm beginning to think you love your work more than me. I know you tire of me. Oh, yes. I know you'd have me gone in a heartbeat if you could. It's just time. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. Would you be a doll and fetch me some of my special tea? You know where it is. I'll wait here, George. As you hear, she's referring to someone named George. See you soon, Dwayne. Oh. And the man she's referring to is the man we saw in the beginning of last episode. Um, the first episode of the Lord's chapter. It was... Uh, the man we followed into the progress room to get the uh, uh, hook to the attic so we could just uh, go up to the attic so that's good we have everything we need i'm sure there's so much more to this than i can explain okay, she's in there forget about what i'm saying and she's gonna be here now we go back, because that worked last time. 
That it worked this time too. She was standing in that corner. Did you see that? Her specialty away here. The chair. Unlock this. Take her specialty. Go down. Now let's get back to the basement without dying or try to not die. Nope. I'm not gonna answer that door. So the master bedroom is a safe haven. This, I suppose, is also a safe haven, but I also don't know where it ends. I wonder if I should go uh, upstairs again. I'm not sure, because I'm not sure if I need anything from that particular mirror. I don't even know what this is. Let's go in here and, and see first of all. Because there can be something. And nothing. We need a key. Okay. That's good. So if we get there. I think she's going to be more aggressive if we do this. So we're going to get a crowbar that's used there. But if we go upstairs, I think we're getting pieces there are for mirrors. That mirror. Because that mirror leads to that mirror. Hmm. Let's go for the crowbar. Been sitting there for like five minutes now. Get me my sledge. Need both hands for that. Shit. As you can see, I'm trying to plan my... Uh, my path as good as possible. Because if I get down here... I don't have to go down here no more. Except for the locked door mirror and the closet mirror. So, if I do this, I'm getting really close to one part I need for the thing over the crib. That plays music for uh, children's. I'm really sitting here and thinking of what I'm supposed to do next, so I'm not even. I don't even care if I die. But the other question is how deep is this oven? Because I'm a fully grown adult and she put me in there like I was some sort of cake. That oven isn't that small, I can tell you that. Tell you that for sure. Maybe sledge. Okay, so I need... So that's one part. That's great. Now if we go out the other, the other mirror I was talking about, we're getting one step closer. I don't really think we need a sledgehammer for something else. I don't. Directly up the ladder in that mirror. So as you can see the compass. We need that compass real bad. Take this compass and go up the other stair. Uh, actually, we drop the crowbar for now. Take that. If, only if the. Um, give me a second. Give me a second to rethink my choices. Let's get the compass out when we really have to use it. Because right now I can't use. I don't know. I maybe need to have the crowbar. I don't know. Oh, it was inside of the mirror. Something like that. Fuck. That actually got me a little paranoid that Dolores was close. But she wasn't. Okay, so the mirror is just... Here that the mirror is closed. The sound of the mirror. As you can see... We should follow this... Com... This, the red point of the compass. Even if it's... Supposed to show north, it's not. 
shows us something else. Shows shows us something we need. This is the only way we can see how it looks outside of the house. But the question is how accurate is that? Because this can be not true at all. I would really like to see how the outside of the house looks like. The developer must have had a... Yeah, the compass leads us to these flowers. The developer must have a thought of how the house would look like on the outside. And they do... If they have concept art or something like that, I would really love to... take a look at them because I want to see how the house's house looks like outside and what's surrounding it in the present day uh, place I can see why I'm not really believing the whole this part because for some reason this is just some kind of hallucination I would say you, you you do uncover the whole tragical stories behind all these characters that lived in this house but you don't really get to know the character you play as as much except for that you the character shoots his own family in the beginning of the game. I know I talk and pause a lot. But that's just because... I'm trying to form out the meaning and the words I'm supposed to say as I'm speaking them. And it's not always going as well because uh, English is not my first language it's my second spoken language and I don't know all the words and all the different kinds of um, uh, I don't know anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to find a word that I don't know how to describe it. So. That's fun. This is a pretty long stairs, so I'm just gonna cut to the end of it. And down here we have a door. I think it leads out to the basement floor. Yeah, the same way that... So we don't need the compass anymore. What I'm thinking we're supposed to do is... Yeah, we need a sledgehammer for the, the, mirror, the mirror section I was thinking about before. So we're gonna drop that. Take the sledgehammer out. Go to the mirror, the long, the long corridor mirror. I would say on the upper floor, on the second floor, not not the first floor, but on the second floor, where we saw Dolores crawling on the ground. That's where we need the sledgehammer. Crowbar is now stored. But what we're first gonna do is go into the master bedroom. Right, right. Okay, yeah. Now she's gonna be here. Now we walk over here. She's gonna be gone. I wonder if she's gone now. Probably not. Yes, she, she is. She's outside. But what I was saying, we're gonna go up into this master bedroom and put these little toys. And we need 
three more toys it's going good it's going good and as you can see it's pretty much back and forth back and forth back and f can i quick save them why i want to know why i don't want to die that's so hard to understand is the lore somewhere near me excuse you why can't i save fuck well if i die i die i think we had an auto save when we put that those toys up there um now i can save so that's good as you can see i'm running back and forth all the time and there's not much else to it i'm just going from one mirror to another mirror to a another mirror so i can get the story and progression going on and i'm trying to avoid the lures as much as possible because i said in one of the previous videos that i'm gonna uh, just have one death during this uh, playthrough and that death is already taken by the monster in lucy's chapter so there's not much else to it except for when it's stuff actually happens when i see dolores or when i go into a mirror and there's a part we've never seen before or when i talk about where to go how to go and figuring out where to be next to make the best of it except for having to go in the mirror and then oh fuck no it's n it's not this one but you know planning my next move in advance for the next move or the next mirror or how to how to go about it all and that's why these videos are pretty lengthy and pretty much cut up I'm, I'm trying to cut the away where i'm going from one place to another if you already seen the area like five times before because it's probably not fun to watch that all over again and over and over and over and over and over and over again so i'm trying my best guys i'm trying my best but if you did enjoy this video, and I hope you do, and I hope you like what I do, and if you do that, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, I don't fucking know, share the video, I guess. It's up to you, guys. It's up to you. Mommy. But I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.